Good morning YouTube. Hope we're all good today. Um, today is vlog day. Um, it is uh, vlog number 13. Lucky number 13 for some. Um, it's supposed to be a lovely day today. Um, unsure about that actually. Um, it's supposed to be getting really warm. But, um, but yeah, hey, look, we're here for another vlog. It's been two weeks since the last one um, because I have been away as, as as you may know um which is why i left the the last vlog as a as a slightly longer one for the for the competition for the the giveaway so i've been off away in spain traveling around um going to a friend's wedding which was which was great fun um down in the the south of spain down by madrid which was which was great fun nice drive down there lots of drinks lots of fun um and um and yeah it um all seems to be absolutely fine traveling i know that some of you will have traveled with have ate on planes um and some of you won't have done but just for your benefit i think the rules at the moment flying from uk airports are that you have to have your liquid if you've got a tank you have to put that and, and any any liquids that you've got with you in your hand luggage you've got to put them in your plastic little uh, little bags so a nice plastic bag like so uh, for any loose liquids otherwise put liquids in your um, in your uh, in your checked luggage and any batteries you're supposed to take them in your hand luggage so hand luggage for your batteries you can put any of your mods and any of your other building supplies or any of your juices in your uh, check luggage so that was fine no questions at all when i was taking mods through security no no problems with that in the slightest i took uh what did i take i just took some simple quick simple setups i took the um evic vtc just because that's nice and handy and it looks fairly normal for people to to see and i took the um kbox 200 because again it's a compact and lots and lots of battery um but yeah so it was it was it was a good old time <clears throat> i was vaping the kangatech with the um, limitless rda rdta sorry um throughout the whole time and it was a dream it's absolutely fine only thing you want to be aware of is when the pressure changes in the airplane if you've got liquid still left in your tank it will probably flood um and it'll push all the juice out into the bag so i suggest if you if you can't empty your tank prior to flying um put it in a bag by itself otherwise you're going to be in trouble so what are we going to talk about today we're going to talk about some of the devices that i've been vaping most recently uh, some juices we're going to talk about some concerns that i've had about a particular device um and we're going to talk about um some wire as well which will be interesting i think um <clears throat> but first off what have i been vaping so as i said uh in the last vlog i've been really enjoying my, my mech mods tube mechs and it's sort of i don't know uh, jumping on the bandwagon or, or or what but it just seems to be having a little bit of a comeback at the moment i've just been really loving tube mech mods so i have uncased as i showed you before i uncased my old um Watofu phantom but i've uh, cleaned off and uh, got out the tug life um tube so the that's the version two i think it is is it, I'm not sure if they called it a version two. Um, the version one was the aluminium tube thing like this with the Beetlejuice logo on the bottom. Um, <clears throat> this is the first sort of solid copper mod that they did. Um, and it has the floating magnet in the bottom for your pin. I've got that topped with the um, Sub-Zero RDA in there with a dual, dual fuse Clapton in there which is rather, well, you can't see that, and a Summit drip cap on top of there. <clears throat> and that has, <coughs> I'm not sure what that has in. I think that's got some, I don't know. I think it's got some of this, this Dewberry cream. So this is rather nice. So the Dewberry cream from Kilo Vapes, or Kilo Vapors, I don't know what they call themselves. Um... So I've been vaping a lot of this. So the Kilo liquid, there's the Dewberry cream and the 
No, I don't know what it was. Debris, debris yogurt. Um, I'm sure there's a bottle somewhere. Yeah, uh, Kibri yogurt. So those are just some of the bits that I've been vaping in this. That came out to about a point two three or point two seven on this this particular Clapton build, and I'll talk to you about the builds in a minute. But this is a, a lovely little device. Nice long, nice long uh, five ten pin because this is of course a hybrid. Um, let's put a little bit more of that on there. Um, the kilo liquids seem to be really nice. Um, they're sort of quite subtle, um, which I wasn't really expecting given the titles. So all of these mad made up berries, dewberry and dewberry, de de I don't know. Um, but it's actually a really nice vape um, and it works beautifully on the Sub-Zero. I typically have this about halfway open. If you can see, there we go. You typically have it about halfway open and actually you'll be able to see my coil. Will you be able to see my coils in there? Just about, just about. But yeah, so that's the, um, that's one. which is very nice. I've also got out my Petrie, my Dot Mod Petrie mech with the Petrie um, RDA on top of there with another Summit, uh, not Summit, a uh, District 5 cupcake on top of there. That also has a nice dual fuse Clapton in there that I built um, and that is working an absolute treat. I just love that Petri airflow and I think that looks kind of cool as well, I, I really do. <clears throat> Those are what I've been vaping for the last day or two. Uh, <clears throat> I bought another Petri in, um, oh hello, excuse me, another Petri in silver um, which is going lovely which is really nice. <laughs> and um, another drip cap for that but um, yeah let's move on to some other bits and pieces bear with me okay so a quick update on some other bits and pieces I wanted to say first of all the cotton bacon um, I've been really, really enjoying this. All of my atomizers now have cotton bacon in them. Um, I was really skeptical about cotton bacon being um, worth using and worth spending the money on. But actually, yeah, I'm really impressed. It wicks really well. It doesn't require so many re-wickings as um, some of the, the, the cheaper cotton that I bought in the past. And I would really recommend it. You don't need a huge amount. I just took a little baggie of it away with me when I went um, and it works an absolute treat. I'm, I'm very, very pleasantly surprised and happy to, uh, to spend, what was it? I think four ninety nine, five quid, something like that on, um, on the bag. Um, and it's, I've been using that for a month or so and it's, um, it's still absolutely fine. There's, you know, there's, there's half a bag left. Mm. Um, the other atomizer that I've been using recently is I've gone back to my Velocity. Um, I think that's a, a lovely, a lovely vape. It's got a really nice airflow. Keen to get a Velocity V2 though. Um, just to try that out. The other thing, uh, I mean, I just, I know that I've been banging on about this loads, but this RDTA is probably one of the best devices that I've ever owned and I know that's a relatively big thing to say based on the fact that I've got quite a lot of stuff it is genuinely one of the best things that I have it works beautifully it wicks beautifully it is just the whole package if you are looking for a device 
get this if you have any ability in terms of building or even if you don't and you want to learn you get this it's fantastic it's brilliant fast tech is now doing these i didn't get this one from fast tech but fast tech is now doing them for 18 dollars for the stainless steel one which is which is crazy cheap um 18 uh, which is fantastic um they also have a replacement glass for it which is again is very good news just purely because it doesn't come with any replacement glass so you can now get different colored replacement glass for your limitless rdta i am very tempted to buy another and i'm also very tempted to buy a limitless mod so one of their mechs um, just because i've been so impressed with that i know it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be good but it's worth having a, a consider Oh, I love vapor. Cool. Okay. So, moving on to, um, I suppose, my first little gripe, as it were. Um, the Praxis. Um, a very nice guy, I think it was Yattering on YouTube, came um, and watched one of my videos and said that um, he wasn't sure that this wasn't authentic. And I obviously immediately jumped um to the conclusion that that he didn't you know uh, that 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 it was and that he was just saying it because he didn't know what it, what i was looking at but um but yes he he was absolutely absolutely right now he contacted praxis on instagram and facebook and i also contacted them now it turns out that this whilst it is semi-authentic is actually not so let me read for you well, if i can let me read for you what i got back from praxis um hang on bear with me so this is the box that it came in and I messaged them just to say hi. I just wanted a bit of information on the Decimus I bought. Think uh, bought one thinking it was authentic. It has all the correct packaging, but it says it has temperature control. When it boots up, it says Sigo before Praxis Vapors. What's the deal, guys? Is this genuine or not? Thanks, Tim. Um, and they came back incredibly quickly. Um, and they said, hey Tim, we've severed ties with our manufacturer, but they still had leftover stock of the Decimus. They uh, molded it and they modded it and sold it to buyers like 3F Vape where it's technically a version 1.2 with temp temperature control but it's not under our warranty so the warranty card that came with it doesn't mean anything it's not worth the paper it's printed on so um, I said so the, the 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 warranty is not valid um, I understand what you're saying but but I'm really annoyed that it seems less genuine than I wanted. Never mind, I understand that it's not you to blame. Just think that if someone's going to clone a product, they should be more respectful of the original manufacturer or designer. Love your gear, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for coming back so quickly. And they said, yes, the internal chip has been altered to incorporate temperature control. And apparently they are currently undergoing R&D on future projects with a different manufacturer. So a manufacturer will deliver better quality. I said that I would pass it on to um, my subscribers. Here we go. Um, and said it technically isn't a clone since it's an upgraded chip from the same company that manufactured the original. It was just never approved by us. It's a weird, weird, really weird situation, to be honest with you, lol. So I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm pleased that they, they came back. I'm a little bit disappointed that I seem to have bought something which is less than genuine, but uh, it, it, it kind of restores my faith in the manufacturer just because I thought, do you know what? Yeah, I really like the practice vapor stuff. Um, and I really like the box and I like the design that they've, they've put together. Um, and if this isn't an authentic or if it isn't as genuine as we thought, then actually that sort of vindicates them a little bit. So thank you so much to um, Yattering, I think it was Yattering, on YouTube for bringing this to my attention. And apologies for um, giving you false information at the beginning. I still really like the box. I still think it's a fantastic feeling box to hold. 
um, but I'm just less than impressed with the way that it was purchased, the way that it was, uh, the way that it was sort of marketed as an authentic Praxis Decimus. If I had bought something which was a clone, then I would be more happy with it to say, right, this is a clone. I'm expecting there to be glitches. I'm expecting there to be flaws. You know, I buy clones from time to time. That's fine. That's what I do. Um, I buy authentic sand clones. But if I buy something which I think is supposed to be authentic, then I expect the authentic. And especially when you pay that price. So there we go. Let's have a vape on this and, and stop mining. Mining? Moaning. Okay. So on a more positive front, um, I bought um these these wire shots um now i bought these ones off uh amazon ebay amazon and what they are is they are lengths of um wire which has been pre there we go which has been pre-wrapped they're not obviously pre-made coils which um, I wouldn't wouldn't buy because I like to wrap my own coils because I want to have that flexibility. But what they are is they're pre-wrapped shots of wire, so you get ten in a um, in a box in a tube, um, and they're just about the right size to make a um, a fairly sizable coil. So I've done sort of ooh, ooh, I've done three millimeter uh, screwdriver with um, seven wraps out of that and you've got plenty of wire to do that. Um, I've got this in a couple of my atomizers now. Now this costs about £4.50, £4.70 and I think it's free delivery in the UK. And what it is, is it is flat wire. So flat ribbon wire, I believe, with something else twisted around it. So they say it is a kernel of 0.3 and 0.8 flat wire with 32 gauge A1 canthal wrapped around it. Now they claim it to be um, claim it to be aliens. They're not aliens. They are flat claptons. But I'm quite impressed. And let me just see if I can bring it down to the table so you can actually see this. Bear with. I think that's about the best you're going to get. So sorry about the focus. You can see it's a flat wire, and it's wrapped with this uh, 32 gauge uh, canthal around the outside. This is the tube that it comes in, which is quite nice. But I actually, you know, I build my own Claptons. I wrap my own Claptons from t well quite regularly um, and it's it, it works it works very nicely but this is just quite easy which I thought was worth showing you um, I thought oh, I'll try that because I, I can't really I can't make clap aliens myself um, so I thought oh, I'll buy them and whilst it's not what I thought it was going to be it was definitely worth having a look at what I'll show you is I can show you in the sub-zero There it is. So that's what it looks like installed in the Sub-Zero. And then I've got it in the velocity as well. And they look pretty nice. They look pretty neat. Um, quite genuinely quite impressed with the um, with the vapor I get out of it. But yeah, cool. There's close up for you. Yeah, so that was the, um, the alien wire that I got. Uh, three from from Amazon or eBay. I forget which one it was. Okay, cool. So without further ado, let us talk of the competition. I'm going to have a vape first, and then we will all discuss. Let's make sure that that's a little bit damp. We'll put some American apple pie in there. What I'd like to say is thank you, really, because we've had 
I've had a huge amount more subscribers come on. Now I know it's probably just because I'm doing a giveaway, but I've had a huge amount more subscribers join me over the last couple of weeks. Um, and I hope you're finding what you, you want here. It's, um, it's always quite humbling to see how many people comment, excuse me, sorry, how many people comment and how many people are interested in, in vaping and, and in what I have to say. So please do continue watching. Please don't leave me. <laughs> um, and, um, I hope you enjoy, uh, everything which, which which I do. So, if I read some of the comments that we got for the uh, the giveaway, remember this is based on who's commented, who's subscribed, and uh, and who's liked the video. Um, comments. Let's have a look. Um, I got some really good detailed comments in terms of all of the uh, all, all of the setups that people have. Um, bear with. Now I have picked a winner um, out of this, but I thought I'd read some of the the other comments which I liked. I had um, a couple of people talking about their RDAs that they have currently. I have a couple of people talking about their their mechs and their their regulated devices. We've got lots of RX 200s, lots of Griffins. Um, we've got a Cherry Bomber, uh, a, te a Tesla Sub 2 with a velocity. There seems to be someone who likes the same setup as me, so the Kanga K Box 200 with a Freak Show Mini. Um, there's the Segeli 150, there's quite a few Segeli 150s. There's also some sort of vision spinners. There's a couple of, you know, sort of ego style things. Um, there's been some weird comments. Um, there's been some comments about the drip box. So people enjoying the drip box. Um, the smoke, smoke products, people enjoying. There's been a couple of people who have been saying, you know, asking questions, I suppose, about about these devices and it really does look like they look I, I don't want to, to, to cause any offense to anyone but if you are asking me if an unregulated box mod is a dripper then uh, I'm sorry you're not ready for this level of vaping yet I encourage you to watch my videos watch other people's videos find out more about vaping find out about dripping but you know I'm sorry I'm not going to send you an unregulated parallel box mod with with some drippers um, without having you know the the knowledge that you require uh, that I mean look it, it's one of those things isn't it you I, I don't want to give you too much information if you want a tank then fine go out and buy a tank try out a tank I would I would give out a tank but unfortunately I don't seem to have any tanks which don't have RBA sections or rebuildable sections in at the moment but please you know remember it's all about safety and if you go from you know uh, an ego style sort of uh, device you know you've been using that or you've been using a sort of a cigar like sort of thing um, or you haven't vaped at all and you just want to get into vaping going to a you know uh, a mutation x v4 or a kennedy style fishbone uh, glass dripper with an unregulated dual unregulated box mod is not the next step in vaping please go out and buy a sub ohm tank try out a sub ohm tank see if it works for you then come back and then we can talk about you know potential other options for you but yeah so I have picked the winner I will be contacting you today um, thank you for everyone who has subscribed thank you for everyone who has watched the video commented liked I really uh, I genuinely it's humbling and it's I really appreciate the time that you take to to you know to to get involved in this i will do another one at some point very soon so please do keep keep tuned in and keep subscribed um and uh for you lucky winner i will be posting stuff out to you as soon as you come back to me and let me know your address but um thank you very much indeed i've really enjoyed the the time we've spent together today um and um i will see you probably next week but thank you very much and i will see you again soon